For more videos, visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com Alright guys, I'm going to do these two problems together. Basically, what they want you to do in the first problem is replace the loading by an equivalent force on coupled moment at O. And the, in the second one, they want you to find uh, the resultant force and specify its location measured from O. This is easy. Notice this moment of uh, 500 kilonewtons. Okay, so we got two triangles for the distributed loads divided right here. You know that this triangle, this call, has an equivalent force of F1 one third from the tall edge of the triangle and same thing goes for the smaller triangle let's call it F2 the distance is one third of the tall edge of the triangle and we got a independent uh, force right here being applied at of 15 kilonewtons let's call this F3 so everything becomes prettier so let's find uh, some distances you know that this whole thing from here to here is 7.5 plus 4.5 which would make it 12 meters you know that the distance from 0 to F1 and the distance from 0 to F2 the distance from 0 to F1 is 7.5 minus 1 third of 7.5 so it comes out to be 5 meters because one third of 7.5 is 2.5 and this one is 7.5 plus one third of 4.5 which is 1.5 which will make the distance 9 meters all right so let's find the forces f1 is the area of the big triangle this long triangle right here now the area is equal to 6 kilonewton per meter times 7.5 divided by 2 because it's a triangle so this comes out to be 22.5 kilonewtons F2 is the area of the smaller triangle which is 6 times 4.5 divided by 2 which is equal to 13.5 kilonewtons F3 is given but let me just write it FR is the sum of the three because they're all aiming the same way. FR comes out to be 51 kilonewtons. Let's find the moment. Let's assume clockwise is positive. The moment at O is equal to the 500 kilonewtons per meter, which is given at the beginning, plus the moment being created by F1, which is positive, which is positive because it's making a, a clockwise moment which is F1 times the distance which is 5 5 plus F2 is turning the 9 meter round and F3 which is 15 is also positive and is turning the 12 meter round so when you plug in F1, F2 and F3 which we found up here you get that the moment is equal to 914 kilonewton meters clockwise because it's positive so they want you to that's the first one they want you to replace the loading by an equivalent force and couple moment and in the third one they want you to find the location of the resultant force measured from O that's easy to find because you all you have to do is the moment times the resultant force times the distance this is what we're trying to find the moment we have at 914 the resultant force we have at 51 d is d solve for d and you get that d is equal to 17.92 meters to the right of o because the moment is clockwise therefore it has to turn it clockwise it's going to be like really far like somewhere over here now why is it gonna be far like why isn't it on the assembly you might be wondering I was wondering the same thing too is because we have an additional moment being applied here so that additional moment pushes it 
out of the assembly this theoretical distance d so it's 17.92 meters the moment is 914 kilonewton meters and the resultant force is 51 kilonewtons final answer please comment below if you want me to do any problems and i'll be happy to help thank you